to show root 7 on a number line, I've already drawn a number line. I have taken 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now the thing is I've taken 0, I've not taken it at the center, I've taken it a little towards left hand side because I need most, I need more space here so that plotting root 7 becomes easy. So now the distance between each point I have taken it has 2 centimeters. Now what we have to do is you already know that when we, uh, when we plotted root 5, we started from here, that is from 2. So, but obvious for root 7 also, we'll start from here. We'll have to plot root 5 first, then root 6 and then root 7. So, for root 5, what do we do is, at point 2, mark 90 degree. Okay, after that, Take a distance, take a distance of one unit and from here draw arc. Join this thing over here. Okay, zero to one. And then this distance from zero to one. This is root 5. Now, at root 5, again, draw 90 degree. Join, take a distance of one unit, keep a pointer here, mark, join. The procedure remains the same. Okay. Now we need to find out what is this, how much is this. So now this is root 5 and this is one unit. Okay. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, this is going to be, say, hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. We are keeping space for the other working also. Is equal to, this is root 5. So, root 5 square plus 1 square, that is 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, hypotenuse square is 6. So, hypotenuse is root 6. So, basically, this is root 6. Now, for root 6, what you have to do is plot root 6. This is root 6. Okay. So, this is root 6. At root 6, we have to again take 90 degree to plot root 7. Again, 90. At root 6, we will draw a line. Again, a distance of 1 unit. root 6 a distance of 1 unit join I'll use black marker now okay now this is root 6 this is 1 we need to find out how much is this again hypotenuse square formula hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. So side 1 is how much? Root 6. Since we are drawing root 7, so our side 1 is root 6 and 1 unit as it is. So root 6 is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 
So hypotenuse square is 7. Therefore, hypotenuse is root 7. That means this black line is root 7. So what do we do now? Measure this whole black line and draw it. So this particular line is root 7. So you have root 5, root 6, this is 5, 6 and 7. So, so children, uh, in order to plot root 7, first what you have to do is you have to plot root 5, then plot root 6 and then plot root 7. So you basically have these three lines after 2. Root 5 we've already done in previous video. Now we've seen after plotting root 5 how to plot root 6 and how to plot root 7. Thank you.